Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. I hope you're all well and staying safe in these tough times. Now, at the beginning of this project, I set out to have a fully automated rail network here in Stormworks. We started off small with only a few key areas and then we've added more and more features on each part of this project. In this video, we are going to be looking at the most recent changes to the project, along with some of the new features that are going to be added here in the future. Now, if you're enjoying this videos, comment below anything else you'd like to see in my future videos. While you're there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and click the little bell icon to be notified of my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So with that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with part 3 of the NJ Rail Network project. So to kick off with this video, there's a couple of things that we're going to be having a look at what's changed since the last part 2 of this project. Now there's been a few changes. Uh, first off there's the new line. Of course I did do a video on it as you can see right in front of us. It's the Intercity 125 train. Um, really nice, really beautiful. I loved building this, had a lot of fun doing it too. I've used more or less the same logic in that train uh, as we did with the London Chew train. Um, along with that the second thing that's changed in this video is going to be the screens. Every station now has independent screens on it uh, that shows the arrival of different trains it shows the trains when they how long they are until they arrive at the station it also shows when you've departed when they've arrived uh, it shows the different lines and it also shows you a map on screen where the cash trains currently are if you want to have a look at map instead of looking at the time um, and then lastly what we're going to be talking about also is going to be the arctic line now that we've got the tube, uh, which is going to be the mainland uh, line, and we've also got the HST, which is the Sawyer Iron line, um, we're also going to be having an Arctic line. So there's going to be a third train on this network, all using the same logic, of course. So we're going to be looking at that. We're going to be talking about those three points in this video. Um, first off, Arctic line. Um, now, I did ask you in the last video and I'm going to ask you again in this video. I want everyone to comment below what you think I should be using for the Arctic line. I definitely think we should have definitely train cars with different carriages, maybe a sleeper car, maybe a dining car and a passenger car, etc. But I don't know what type of train. Now, I've seen a lot of comments about steam cars. I've seen a lot of comments about like a Eurostar. Um, so let me know in the comments below what type of train you would like to do. I have started working on one train that I kind of like the design of. Um, you can kind of get a glimpse of it just over here. Um, not that well of a glimpse and I don't want to show you anymore but you kind of get a glimpse of what it might possibly be over there so we'll leave it just as that. Um, so that's going to be the Arctic line. As I said I haven't decided what train I'm using so I want to hear your comments in the video below. Um, but the next thing is the screen stations. Now every single one of these stations and these station, well this station at least needs to get updated with the winner of my build challenge. Uh, so that station will get updated when I've got the winner from that. Uh, along with that is the actual screens. So you'll notice here is that we actually have a map screen. This actually shows the train location, when the trains are on, only when they're on. And then we also have an ETA screen. So you can see here on this platform we have um, the mainland island which is platform 4 which is just over there. So that services the mainland island. Island. and then platform one which is this one it services the soy islands and you can see they're both expected currently there's no lines running there so it doesn't know the time and it just says expected at the moment um, so these are the screens they're quite nice they are player activated so they always are off unless you actually go close to them then they turn on uh, it does say the different locations so where the destination of the two different lines eventually we will have the arctic line here uh, we also have the platforms wherever the trains are actually stopping at and we have an ETA this switches from expected uh, to a time to arrived and to departed so it's got like four different statuses that it can possibly have the nice thing is that I've used exactly the same um, actual XML for these station screens at every single station. So you'll notice there's another one at um, the Lighthouse, at Key Chemical, and they're all the same screens. The screens themselves will only actually show the line that it actually stops at. So for example, this, this station gets two lines. It gets the Sawyer Island and the Mainland Island, so it shows both of them. However, you'll notice when we go down to Lighthouse, it will only show the uh, Mainland Island's line because that's the only line that it stops at. There's no other line that stops there. So it's quite nice. Even though this train does go through there, it just doesn't stop there, so it doesn't show on the screen. So pretty cool feature. Um, as I said, the map also shows the train locations on the map, so you'll see a number here of the train. 
Uh, and that's pretty much about it for the screens. I have also worked on improving these uh, auto refueling stations. So there's one at uh, the end stations, the auto refueling for the trains themselves, so they can prolongly stay on forever. Uh, another cool thing is before we actually have a look at the HST is I have released the full London tube line with all stations and all screens everything else i've released that on my patreon server i am planning on putting that on my public server this weekend so definitely go and check out my public server this weekend sometime because the new line will be on there for testing for you guys to go and check out and it's that's the only place it's available it's not on the workshop it's nowhere else so you guys will have first access to it on my actual uh, dedicated server now going on to the train uh we did talk about this in a previous video this is the British High Speed Intercity uh, 125 train. You'll see here it's a really nice looking. There is um, two cabins and there's also going to be two actual engines. Works exactly the same as the London Tube. Uh, it's got a front and an end, etc. It's all automated. It does everything itself. Uh, another cool thing I have changed since the actual video on this train is I've added a front coupling system. So you can see I can go and open the front coupling system. And in here we have a electrical connector. And with that electric connector, we can go into the cargo area in the back or the engineering area at the back. And you'll notice that we also have a little attachment here. And this attachment we can go and put onto that front coupler. So you'll notice if I go and jump out of this door quickly and drag this out with me. Come on, come out. There we go. We can go and attach that to the front of the train just in case we need to go and attach maybe another engine or so on and so forth. Uh, so you can see here we can go and attach that to another train. Pretty cool feature. I think it was pretty cool and it's just a different way of doing it instead of having nothing in the front. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, so I'm gonna leave that on the side for now and we're gonna close that front hatch there. Also like how it opens. I have managed to fit in the classic horns here in the front. Uh, just want to use a couple of window blocks and things, so that isn't there. Uh, the train itself, I have, as I said, I've done a full video on this, so if you want to check out the video, definitely go and do that. Uh, it's over on my channel. But I have removed access to the main cab that you cannot get there. You can only access the actual uh, passenger cabins or the cargo area. The rest of the train, the fr engine part, and the actual control room needs a code. So you'll notice we can get into the train car here. Don't worry about that screen right now because the train is off. It's not actually reading anything. Um, and let's see if we can just get up here. So we might need to go and use this. There we go. Okay. And yeah, we have the passenger car. As I said, I've covered this in a video, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. But to get into the main engine, uh, all we do is we come and we actually enter a code in. So at the moment, I have a code of 2020 and I'm going to go and get in. So we can go move in through the cab here as I covered in the video. This is a really nice train. I like it. I've done the design quite well, I think. Uh, we have the main actual interior. So works like the other train. Jump in the driver's seat. Master slave on. All stations stop. You'll notice I can actually get out from the driver's compartment. And I'll do that. And I'll show you what the screens are going to show first off. So you can see the train has arrived. The screen doors should open in a couple seconds. And you can see here, Soy Islands Platform 1 has arrived. If you go near the train, you'll notice the screens also will come on. So there we go, Komodo Terminal. Great, that's where we are now. And if we go and get in, start falling out. Do need to train, change these train stations, they are a bit old. And we've gotten inside now. And we can pretty much just sit back and relax. The train will take off in a couple minutes. Give it a few minutes, there we go. And it's now just taken off. And we can just wait. And it's now going to just fully automate itself, change tracks as it goes on. And you'll notice that in a few seconds we are going to pass the next station. Now, as the train goes throughout the world, you'll notice we can just sit back and pretty much just relax in here. Uh, the train will pretty much just drive itself all the way over to the North Harbour on the Soya Island. So what we're going to do is we just went past, uh, I think, Key Chemical Station. Uh, so we're just coming up to a junction and we're going to turn right and we'll go to another junction and turn another right um, to go over to Soya. As you can see here, we're going to go and carry along this path and hit this junction and then carry on going right all the way over to the mainland 
plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it uh, as is and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to teleport over to that island and I'm going to wait there for it while the train is going along and then we'll meet back up as, uh, just when the train is about to arrive. So you'll notice that we're back at the North Harbour now on Soy Islands. Now the train is still running. I've just gone and teleported over here. Uh, you should actually start to see the train in a few minutes here just going around. Now we can go into, over to the screen so you can see Soy Islands platform one. The train is one minute away from where we are right now. We can actually go to the map screen and you can see exactly the location. So apparently it's actually on land. Or it should be, there it is, there, yeah. So it's just coming along now. Uh, it's gonna come in and it should pull it into this platform just over here and stop for us. So yeah, um, these screens are really cool. I like how they monitor and they will monitor 10 minutes out, 15 minutes out, 20 minutes out, etc. as long as it needs to until you can actually go back to the other station. So give it a couple seconds. You can see here it's just changing its track and it should be coming in and it should start to be slowing down also. And then when it arrives, we should see a arrive status on our screen. It should wait here for I think it's around 30, 45 seconds. I could be wrong. So you can see it's pulling into the station now no actual manual control at all fully automatic give it a couple seconds you can see north harbor and it's gonna stop now there we go it's arrived at its location the door should be going and opening up for us now yep perfect we can now go and get in we can do whatever we want to do we can hang around and then once the timer is done it should actually be setting off and should be going back to the next terminal which is back at Komodo terminal on the mainland so this line pretty much just runs between the two islands nice and simple nice and easy uh, I think average journey time is around 15 20 minutes uh, I'm thinking of upping that speed um, the train is currently set at around 125 miles per an hour which is realistic oh you can see it departed bye bye train uh, so the train's gone it's now heading off again you can see it on the map and of course we can go back to we can teleport over to Komodo Terminal now and we can wait eventually until it comes back. Of course, if you didn't want to teleport, you could just ride the train all the way back. Uh, that's completely up to you. That's the whole advantage of these automatic train networks. As I said, we also have the tube line, which is the main line only. And I'm thinking of adding the Arctic line uh, eventually, as I said earlier on in this video. So I hope you guys ha enjoyed this video uh, and catching up with the project and where it is right now and what else I'm working on. As I said, uh, the next part is doing the Arctic line. Uh, I'd still want to do a couple tweaks to a couple different things uh, within the project. I still want to add a few more things. You can see this is eight minutes away now, this line. Um, so that's pretty cool. I still want to add a few more things to this project. I still need to change out the stations uh, to the winner of the competition. So that one, that will be something I'll be doing. Uh, I am obviously conscious of FPS and performance uh, throughout this whole project. So I'm trying to minimize logic and components as much as possible on the trains and the stations on everything and trying to make it as streamlined as possible so people can use it on their servers and also use it on their games uh, as i said this will be out on my server publicly on this weekend uh, so definitely keep an eye on for that and guys let me know in the comments what you think um if you like this if you can maybe guess that train let me know in the comments so i think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there thank you very much for watching let me know in the comments below what you would like to see changed or added in future updates and I hope you enjoyed it and found it some entertaining and informative as always and we'll see you in the next one.